Before I tell you some bad news about sunflower seeds, I'm going to tell you some good news. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president of ConsumerLab.com, and we just tested all these sunflower seeds and sunflower seed butters. So the good news, which you may already know, is that sunflower seeds are a very good source of healthful oils, protein, complex carbs, even folate, magnesium, and vitamin E. They're also gluten-free. Now, the bad news is that our tests found that most of these products, in fact, six out of nine of them, had very high levels of cadmium, a kidney toxin. And it may surprise you that this was particularly a problem with products that source their sunflower seeds from the U.S. If you regularly consume sunflower seeds, this is actually about a normal size, about a quarter cup or two tablespoons of the butter. If you do that every day, I would be concerned and would definitely try to find a product that has a lower level of cadmium. Now, California is the only state that has a limit on how much cadmium can be in a product without a warning label, and that limit is 4.1 micrograms of cadmium per daily serving, 4.1. Some of these products had four to five times that amount. One product had nearly 21 micrograms of cadmium per serving. Now, on a positive note, we did not find any problems with these products in terms of lead or arsenic or mercury or mold or even pathogenic bacteria like salmonella, uh, which has been found in some sunflower products. So if you're one of more than 100,000 Consumer Lab members who support our ongoing research, you can see our full results online right now on ConsumerLab.com, which includes our top picks among these products. Yeah.